So I built these two insane AI SaaS websites for Go High Level. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I built them, the behind the scenes in the website editor. Now, before I show you how I built them, let me tell you why you might wanna do AI with Go High Level as opposed to services, Legion. And it's of course coming from somebody smarter than myself. I think that every business in the future, just like they have an email address and a website and a social media presence today, I think every business is gonna have an AI agent that their customers can talk to in the future that can do customer support, sales, communicate with all their people, uh, all their customers. Okay, so now I'm in the Go Ahead Level website editor. What I'm gonna do is just show you the behind the scenes. I'm not gonna be able to build this thing live, like build the actual sections live, just cause that'll take a long time. This website right here took us months to build and also the light version as well, this one right here. But what I'm gonna do is just show you the behind the scenes and kind of explain how we built it. But a lot of people are wondering about this gradient effect. How did we create this for a hero section? And there's two things that we did. The first one is we added some padding. So if I click here, I go to styles, you'll see that there's padding on both sides. And we've also added border radius. That's how we get those cool like round edges that makes the website just a little bit more modern. That's how we did that. Now in terms of the gradient, this is actually not a background. This is just a photo. And so how I did this is I went on Photoshop and I created my own gradient and I exported that as a PNG file, as a photo. So I just added my photo and that's how we get that cool effect with the gradient going from dark to light purple. Now, the next section that we built out is this one right here. As you notice, like this is pretty standard, two sections side by side, headline, subheadline, a bit of text, dividers in between, like this stuff that you can add very quickly, very easy. And the next thing we did is just added buttons. Now you'll notice the buttons have some animations when I hover. This was also done with code. I'm gonna show you, I think we have a couple tutorials on this very quickly. Let's go back to our easy tutorials. This is gonna be one of the hover effects on buttons. So we have different tutorials as to how we did this. And again, you can switch it up, but one of them is just by adding tags to it. So if we just add tags with the code, here's the code right here, then we can just animate them very quickly. So if you wanna have two color gradient transition, here's the code, and this is the tag that you're gonna be using right here. Now, if you're wondering like, where do I add the tag? I don't know much about code. What I'll do is just go on the button, go to styles, scroll down, and you can see the custom class. Here's where you would add that tag. And the code itself, you're just gonna copy the code. You're gonna go back to the website editor and under CSS, we're just gonna add it and paste it. We're gonna paste a piece of code right here. So that right there is how we did this section right here. Very easy. Now this right here is just photos, very simple. I'm gonna keep going. Again, this is kind of similar to what I was telling you of the hero, but this is the inverse. So I created a second version of that gradient, which is just the inverse. So this right here is just a photo. If I show you right here, this is not a background, this is a photo. And we have our text, sub headline and the button. Very simple. Now this section right here is just two columns side by side, but a lot of people are wondering how did we create this right here? And so I know a bit of like editing videos and that kind of stuff. And so how we built this is I created this as a video, I exported it and it just loops on and on. So that's how I created this section right here. If I scroll down a bit more, you'll notice that this one is just a still graphic, but it has that awesome animation when I hover over it. So it makes for a better use experience. I'm gonna show you how we did this right here. So if I scroll down, we have this section, again, two columns side by side, but again, this is just an image and this is a graphic that I created in Photoshop. That's why it looks so clean because I created this from scratch. But how I animated it, if I go back to Notion, look, I'm gonna show you the actual code, is how to make images bigger when you hover over them. And so I have actual video tutorial and all that stuff in my YouTube channel. You might've seen this tutorial multiple times, but this is the actual code. So what I'll do is just copy paste this code into a website and then use this tag right here. And that's how you're gonna be able to animate. So when you hover on the photo, it's gonna zoom out. It's gonna look bigger. And I'm gonna show you the style right here. It's just at the custom class. Custom class, we're gonna use this one right here. Image style one. Very simple. One of the easiest tutorials that we've shown on the YouTube channel. If you wanna actually watch the step-by-step, -step, it's like one of my older, older tutorials but that's how we did that section right here. So if I hover, it animates on the photo. Very cool. Now if I keep scrolling down, we have more features. We kind of talked about that stuff, but this right here is something people really liked with our website and it was the bento style section right here. So streamline all your aspects of your business from one place, we have a CTA and then we have the bento style right here, which I think looks awesome. And I'm gonna show you how we built this in Go High Level. So if I go back to Go High Level website editor, we did this in a couple different ways. So we have a text headline, we have our elements side by side. We did a bit of padding in between each section just so they're kind of separated with the bento. So if I click on it, I'll show you there's a bit of padding, five on each side, not much, but it just gives that subtle effect of separation between elements. These images right here, why they look so cool, like transparent almost, is because again, I created them in Photoshop and then I exported them without a background. Now again, to animate the photo, 
photos, I did a bit of code. I showed you just now how to make them zoom in. So when you hover, they zoom in, that kind of stuff. That's exactly how I did this one right here. You can just use the same piece of code and then add the tag to a photo. Boom, it's good to go. But the main thing here is just make sure that your graphics are on point. And that's why this section, in my opinion, looks really clean. I think this is one of my favorite sections of the website. And you might be wondering about this background here. This is, I'm pretty sure we did this with Photoshop as well. So we just created the backgrounds in Photoshop and added them one by one to the sections. Now, if I keep scrolling down, we get to our pricing. I believe I showed this in one of my previous videos, how we created this pricing, but let's just go through it very quickly. What we're gonna need is two tags and one piece of code. And that's how we animate it. When I hover, the animation shows up. So this first step is gonna be tagging the cards. So this is the pricing. Each pricing is gonna need one tag. And so what I'm gonna do is copy this right here, glow gradient child. We're gonna copy paste that into here. So if I scroll down, you'll see it right here. We have a couple of different tags. Don't worry about those for now. Just the bottom one right here. You're gonna add it to your pricing package. The second tag we're gonna add is gonna be the blue section because this one is holding the pricing packages. This is gonna need its own tag and that's gonna be glow dash gradient dash parent. It's this one right here, this step two. The final step is just copying and pasting this entire piece of code and adding it to the website, the custom CSS. So let me just show you the whole thing. I'm gonna scroll down, but I'm just gonna copy paste this whole thing. I'm gonna scroll down go back to my website and under custom CSS, I'm just gonna add it very quickly. Now, of course I already have it here, so I'm not gonna do it, but that's how I created that section. When I hover, it animates like that. Now this right here is just headline, divider, sub headline, or just a paragraph headline, and then just some bullet points very quickly in our button. Now you notice there's kind of like a slight background, kind of like a dark with a pattern for each card. This is just a background photo that we added. This is something I created in Photoshop that we added to that section as well. And so if I take a look at it, that's so you can tell like it looks slightly different from the full like background here, the black is like gray, darker shadows of gray, kind of like a cool pattern going on. That's how we did that. We added that as a photo right here. So that right there is pretty much how we built the entire dark one. And I'm gonna show you now the light version. This is the entire homepage. So I'm gonna show you the light version right here. I'm gonna show you some of these sections, how we created this in Go Ahead level. This is the hero section, very similar to kind of what I was talking about with the dark one, is we have padding on the sides, round corners, and we have this greeting that I also created in Photoshop. We added this as a photo. Now, if I scroll down, we have our graphic. This is just a photo, so you can just add whatever graphic you have. You can add it as a photo. And if I keep scrolling down, like this is one of the cooler sections of the website. It kind of captures your attention. And we want it to be very intentional when we build this website. We want it to be like kind of minimalist, but also modern, kind of showing that this is AI. And so I created this as a graphic. As you can tell, like this is just an image. I created this in Photoshop. And right here, why it has kind of like that gradient, like very light gradient background. It's just I created this as a photo as well. So you can see I added it. It has like some subtle effects as well in the back. And so all of this is adding to that experience, but this is just a photo. Now this right here is text and we have text down here like paragraphs. And so all in all, you put all these together and it looks really awesome, modern, clean. That's how we built this in Go Ahead Love. Now, if we scroll down this section right here, it looks really cool. How we created this is just text and then a photo as a background. And this photo is just gradient. Again, I created this in Photoshop. So as you can see, like a lot of this kind of comes down to having good graphic design, good skills with Photoshop, so you can create this kind of stuff and just add it to your website. Now, again, this is kind of our features, are very similar to what I was talking about right here. They look very similar. Gradient with the backgrounds, the buttons, the CTA. And again, we animated these. So if I go here very quickly, you'll see them. They have those effects when I hover over them. It's just like I showed you with the dark one. So we're gonna use the same code. Now, if I keep scrolling down, these sections look very similar. This is a sub headline and we've added a white background. So it kind of looks like a pill. And so that's how we created that section right there. Now this right here, we wanted to create a bento for the light version as well. Wanted to show kind of some of the AI features, the pipeline, the AI calls, notifications, some other software features that Go Ahead Level has. And so how we did this is instead of doing transparent backgrounds, kind of like how we did here, we wanted to do solid. So we did solid with this color right here. You can see the background color is this one. And we've added manually these photos, these images that I exported from Photoshop. And that's why they look kind of like modern, but it's just like Photoshop graphics that I created from scratch. Very similar to this one in a way, but it's just a different look that we're going for. So another thing, very minor, but we have our borders right here. We have our padding, we have a margin five on each side on all of them. And we have that cool thing going on with the spacing, the round corners, and kind of what I showed you, the border radius, we did 25 for all of them. So it has a modern style going on. Very simple, but it looks pretty clean in my opinion. One of the nicest sections of this website 
for sure. And so there it is. I hope this was helpful, just kind of seeing the behind the scenes of how we build these websites. One thing is just seeing it built out and the other thing is kind of knowing what went into building it, how you can build your own websites. But if you want to skip the work of building your website, the Photoshop, the graphics, the design, coding, all that stuff, then what you can do is just click the first link in bio and you can get either one of these. We have two versions, the dark one, if you like this kind of look, if you want something more light, minimalist, then you can check this one out if you're trying to launch your AI agency with Go Ahead Level.